More Tobagonians get peace of mind. Chief Secretary reaffirms commitment to the development of Tobago's human resource. And we give you the details of various sporting events from last weekend. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. Chief Secretary Orville London distributed leases to four persons who have been long-standing occupants of the Adelphi estate. Kisan Brathwaite has that story. Four families have been made just a little more comfortable as they received 199-year lease agreements from the Tobago House of Assembly. These agreements are for parcels of land at Adelphi Estate at Mason Hall, where some residents have been occupants for as much as 60 years. The leases are transferable to children and can also be used as collateral for mortgages and loans. Mr. London urged the recipients to hold on to their gifts. We did not invest Tobago people's money for you to take the land and sell it. We invested Tobago's money because we wish to improve the quality of life of Tobagonia in this generation and generations to come. The recipients expressed gratitude for the leases. I thank you very much, Mr. London, for this. My mother would be proud at this day because she lived it all her life too. To date... 128 plots of land have been distributed at Adelphi Estate. The 49-acre estate was purchased by the THA in 2008 for an estimated $13 million. I'm Kissam Brathwaite for Info Update. The Chief Secretary defended the Tobago House of Assembly's use of unspent balances by stating they are used to meet shortfalls in allocations by central government. Unspent balances are used to pay the salaries of CPEP and Europe employees and other development needs such as tuition fees for students. He said the Tobago House of Assembly provides financial assistance to many Tobagonians on an annual basis. He said last year the Tobago House of Assembly requested $7 million but only received $500,000. Mr. London says although the central government has always been cynical in their approach to treating with Tobago's human development needs, he says the unspent balances are prudent savings which provides for the island students. From here, we move to sport to give you a roundup of last weekend's sporting events. Umadara Mills has that report. Tobago born Kellyanne Batiste, Rennie Kwau, and Emmanuel Stewart were among the athletes who shone at last Saturday's NGC Sajiko NAAA Open Track and Field Championships at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Kellyanne ran an impressive 10.84 seconds to win the women's 100 meters and claimed another national crown. The 2011 National Championships bronze medalist equaled a national record set in 2010. A mishap in the men's 100-meter race saw Rennie Kuo promoted from second to first after world junior champion Marcel Cidinho was disqualified from the first place for running out of his lane. Quar retained his championship title with a record time of 44.90 seconds. And the national record holder, Emmanuel Stewart, captured the men's hammer through with 52.49 meters, erasing the 39-year-old champion record of 37.90 meters. Also in sport, the Tobago House of Assembly, in collaboration with the Trinidad and Tobago Dragon Boat Federation, hosted the 5th Dragon Boat Festival at the Pigeon Point Heritage Park yesterday. Racing was held in several categories, including the Tobago teams, mixed juniors, and senior female teams. Wasa Aquaforce Dragon Boat team placed first in the Tobago senior category, while Oceanus was second, and the Office of the Chief Secretary's Dragon Boat team finished third. Aquaholics of Trinidad was the competition's overall winner. I'm Umadara Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.